So one of the things that we can work off in Microsoft Word is this idea of something known as my header. Now, if I click on, say, Orchid Street uh, Art Center from Chapter 3, uh, this tutorial file shows that I'm in sort of uh, normal text. But look what happens when I click on Summary. Oh, look at that. Mm, summary. Uh, suddenly, my styles change. And notice as I mouse over these things, I can start to play around with them. Again, if I click on that, I can actually shrink these down to just the bare bones. And this is kind of nice because, as you can see, sort of I can start to only focus in on the material that I want to work on, say, today. You know, I, I get into the office, I sit down for my expert opinion on street art, and you know, I start going, all right, I need to hammer out these paragraphs, to make sure that you know, the, the user is okay and likes you know, our, our business plan, our uh, wireless site survey, as it were. So you know, I only care about working on this one paragraph. I'll spend a lot of time working on that, and then I move on. I'll work later on, you know, I'll go get lunch, but I focus on one spot. Now, one of the things I want to focus in on is I want to click on my View tab because I want to introduce something known as my Navigation Pane. Now, the Navigation Pane, as you can see, it just pulled up this kind of, it just pulled up uh, this thing over there. Well, what that does is that allows me to immediately uh, scroll through my document. And now I don't have to, you know, take this guy and, you know, okay, that works for two pages. But what happens when you guys write your 50-page uh, master's thesis because you're all going to grad school, right? Right. So what I can do now is since I've used these headings, these headings over here, I can now click on these individual spots. And as you can see, it's going to bounce my code back and forth. Also, because what this allows for me to do, as you can see, I can sort of see what's a heading of a heading. It's a subheading, if you will. Again, probable expenditures, you see it's a heading two, and anticipated upgrades, it's a heading three. These start to belong to uh, individual headings, and you, know, you can think of it sort of like uh, files. You know, I have a, a giant folder for music, then I've got my folder for just Justin Bieber, and then I've got my folder for just uh, you know Dr. Dre, and then I've got my folder for Corpa Klani. So I've got, you know, a wide spectrum of music going on here. If you're curious about Corporate Klani, take a look at them. You will not regret it. Uh, so what we can do with this is now we can say, all right, well, what about anticipated upgrades? That's not really the same as, you know, that's not underneath, uh, say, for example, probable expenditures. In fact, I actually want to kind of flip these around a little bit. One of the things I can do is just by selecting it, I can say, oh, no, change it to heading two or I'm going to hit undo for a second. I can also come over here to my navigation pane, right click, and you see I get a few options. Promote and demote are the big ones I want to focus in on. Promote, notice how the arrow is pointing that way, demote pointing this way. If I select promote, take a look, take a look up here at where I say anticipated upgrades. As soon as I click on promote, it expands out anyway. Now the other thing that's really cool about this is, you know, say for example, again, you're writing a research paper, you're writing a paper for your class, you're writing your 50 page grad uh, school thesis, you're gonna have a lot of topics, you're gonna have a lot of paragraphs. And you then, of course, you all proofread your papers, right, right. So you read it through it and you're like, you know, it doesn't flow properly. It's not working 100% uh, the way I want it to work. One of the things that I can do is I can actually click, hold, and drag any one of these sections. So say, for example, anticipated upgrades. I want that to appear before probable, probable expenditure. What I can do is I click, hold, and if I move this up and down, notice that line that follows my cursor all of a sudden. This is going to tell me that wherever I let go of my mouse, say right up here, as soon as I let go, look at all the stuff that happened. Anticipated upgrades is now above probable expenditures. They've moved, and 
it's highlighted just to show that off one last time. 